Hello, ladies and gentlemen. And may I introduce myself? I am a brush. Yes. A normal, simple paint brush made in China, traveled to Germany, bought by an artist called, John, called Johannes Volkmann. Uh, by the way, most of the money got the companies, not the producer. Well, and now I am here to, to talk. To talk to you um, what, what can a simple paintbrush do in our world full of problems and injustice? What can art be in that world? Hmm. Um, I think I have to think about it. I need a bit time. Why? Why does? Why isn't it possible to create a world where everybody have a healthy place to stay? Why can't, why can't the religious, the different religious not pray to one God for a peaceful world? Why can't we organize our financial system not in, in that way that everybody have a profit? Why can't we feel that we all sail on one boat. <laughs> so well, <laughs> what, what can a little simple art brush do in that world? I think I need a cut. We need a cut, a cut in thoughts.
Do you remember 2008-2009? The fina financial crisis grows up all over the world and while everybody was talking about the money, it seems that money its like a god on our earth. So well, I, I thought what is important beside the money? So what is priceless? for me and for everybody. So I want to develop this question and I give and I gave this question a picture, a big picture. I stand up a big table in the main square of Nuremberg. It was about 50 meters and I covered it with paper. And even all the, the plates, about 300, and the spoons and the knives were covered in paper, so it, it was a big picture, a public sculpture, and then I invited everybody to, to write into the plate, what is priceless for you? So a big exhibition grows up in Nuremberg on the main square, and afterwards, well, I make pictures of all the photos and the, the plates and and um, I make photographs, so postcards, that you now can sell all the ideas of the people to your friends. But then I thought, well, the world is so big, how does the other people would write into their plates? And I traveled four years through the world to ask the people and then I create a book of, out of it. Inside you can see the different meanings, the different opinions of the people. We traveled to Barcelona during the, you, you know, maybe you remember, it was the time of the Occupy um, movement. We have been in Egypt one year after the revolution with the table, it stood in Alexandria. We even tried to develop this project in Israel and Palest Palestine and so even on that place the people could, could wrote their answer into the plate. We have been in India, we have been in China, We've been in Ecuador and in the end I thought what, what shall I do with all that? How should the project go on? How can the question be bigger? Because the world is so big and well I'm only a small artist so inside the book I found a solution. It's written down so now everybody can do this project by his own. There's a big description inside. And now on different places, um, other artists share this question. And I were free for another cut.
I create another book. It's called Conference of Children. Well, because all over the world the people wrote that their children are priceless and that they have a happy and a good life. So well, I thought it might be interesting to ask the children what they need to have a happy, to have a good life with a future. So this one is a question book. Children could write their answers inside and all the books together, they send it to the paper theater and we create an exhibition out of it. Uh, it grows up a library. Further on, we even go to different places and work with the children together in a three-day workshop. So in three days, they create out of their books their own conference theater. The project runs from 2040 to 2080. And on the end, we make a Gipfelkonferenz. A Gipfelkonferenz. Yes, you understand? Well, the topic, the topic, all the books were shown. And even we try to invite the children so that maybe, hopefully, the world gets a bit more shiny if the people read what the children need. But one question still is in my head. What can a little art brush do in this, in this big world full, full of full of different things what shall i develop together huh i mean together uh, well uh, but but i'm an artist Yes, I mean, I'm an artist too, so together, art together. Uh, okay, why not? So, well, on that point, we create the FA Zusammenkunst. You know, it's an organization without being an organization. It's just a free space, a free space for everybody who wants to develop project, projects and use the art to go further on. At the moment, we do two, two projects. One of them is called Anders Herum Denken. That means, well, try to think in another direction. It runs in Nuremberg and even in Fürth, so together in both cities. Um, we create a book as well. And if you are interested, you can look inside later on. Well, and the other project is called the Inner City. The Inner City. Um, it's um, 
it's a project where we try to develop the relationship inside the cities because, well, you know, at the moment the cities are, well, in tension with, with the refugees. And so we try to, to make, uh, well, it is, it is like a registration, an artist registration. And with this artist registration, we go inside the refugees' houses and give the, pi the people a picture of themselves. And then we make an exhibition out of it. But the pictures are covered in paper as well. And you only can see it if you pay 10 euros. Mm -hmm. And with this money, the refugees can cook for the people on the end of the exhibition. So, well, this Zusammenkunst developed since November 2015 and we, are, we work in four cities at the moment, in Bavarian cities. And, but it's still the question, what is the next step? This is the next step. <laughs> now I'm here on that time and I'm thinking how can many little art brush, paint brush, create a better world? Thank you for your attention. <laughs>